This is a problem related to the Mac. Uh, I'm not sure where the bug comes from, but I'll tell you how to fix it. This is an external hard drive. Now, I can't delete the, the data on here, so let's just grab an old, just grab one of these. It won't let me delete it. And if I grab a picture and throw it in there, it won't let me add one. You can see there's a little no entry sign on there. Um, it seems to be a problem with something that's going on with Mac. Um, this has come off a Microsoft Windows machine. It's an external drive, but I want to keep it so I can read it on the um, Windows 7, uh, Windows 10 machine as well. So I don't really want to destroy it. <laughs> um, but the easiest way of doing this is actually to just create a new folder. Um, I've done it here. Hard drive external. Copy everything across, and basically you want to just type in the search disk utility, and it should come up with something. Oh, so this Mac should be quite quick. There we go. Double click on the one that looks like that. Shouldn't take too long. It's this one with uh, Kingston one actually. USB drive, master record, not supported. Uh, this type, this type 4, 160 gig. Yeah. That looks like it, I think. Yeah, that's my. So even with this, even with the SD cards, it's a similar thing. So what we're going to do is go up here, erase it, and we're going to call this uh, external Mac Win. Um, and I don't want it formatted. I'll just put it as a MS DOS FAT32, which is obviously a fairly standard scheme master boot record. Keep that same. Erase, and away it goes. Shouldn't take too long to do. There we go. Process is complete. Click down to continue. Down, close, external. I'll grab a picture now. There you go. Now, like I said, it's not the easy. It's not the most obvious thing um, because ideally you don't want to be faffing about with it. But that's the easiest way of sorting it. Um, because if I go to external, that one. Uh, what's that utility? Is it just gone? The sheet. utility. Just want to check which format it's in, just to make sure it's. Fat thirty two Kingston external hundred sixty two not supported petition lab connection USB disk four what's the information yes forty two megabytes hundred sixty three on the connection I'll we'll recognise it but where's the fat thirty two? It should tell me it's fat thirty two. Hang on a minute. That's Mac. Let's right click on that. Get info. There you go. Fat 32. And that's the easiest way of doing it. And I know Fat 32 is the older version, um, but you could do the, I think it's X Fat, which is the newer one. Um, but I'm all for just keeping it as it is. It works. And it doesn't get the restrictions because Fat32 normally has an issue relating to the drive size, but you'll get that in the Microsoft side when you try to format it when it's over a certain capacity. Because it was when Windows uh, wrote the software for it, it was limited. I think it was 32, was it 32 gig. Yeah, I think it might have been 32 gig even. Um, so it did have a restriction on there, but you can once you get it on, the, say, the Mac, or I do it on the Raspberry Pi, it doesn't really have an issue. It's just Windows itself. But that's it. Simple as that. Thanks for watching.